Okay, let's talk about some of the basics. Now, one of the things that gives people a lot of problem is dealing with negative numbers. So let's take a look at some uh, simple negative numbers, how you add them, subtract them, multiply them, and uh, hopefully that will clear things up uh, for uh, the exercises you're going to do later, okay? Uh, let's start with uh, just subtracting two numbers. Uh, 5 minus 2. Now that's, uh, you should know that, that's uh, 3, right? Now, you can think about this as a number line. If this is your 0, you start at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What you're doing, you're going back 2. So you're going 1, 2. So you got 1, 2, 3. So you end up at 3. Simple as that. Now let's try with uh, doing it backwards. So let's go 2 minus 5. Now for some reason, some people have problems with this, okay? Now if you look at this as a number line, you start off at 2, 1, 2, and you go back from 2, 5 steps. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's negative 1, negative 2, and that's negative 3. So the answer is negative 3. Okay. Now what happens if you add two negative numbers? Now take a look at this. What if this was a negative 2 minus 5? So what you're going to do is, you're going to put your 0 there. You're going to start at negative 2. And again, you're moving backwards five steps. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right now, you're at negative 7 equals negative 7. I mean, you can think about it this way. If you owe me two, to, 2 bucks, and then you owe me another 5 bucks, you're going to owe me 7 bucks. So you're at negative 7. Okay? Uh, keep in mind uh, sort of a quintessential rule. The sign in front of the number always goes with the number. So this guy, you could have actually written as negative 2 plus negative 5, which is equal to negative 7. Now, that's the long way of doing it. You never really do that. Uh, so this is the way you should look at it, okay? So those are simple numbers, two numbers. Let's try, uh, you know, five or six numbers together, uh, switching between them. So let's say you had negative 10 minus 6 minus 7 plus 4 minus 2. So if you do your number line here, start off at 10. Okay. What you're going to do is go back 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you're at 4 here. So 10 minus 6 is going to be 4. And then you're going to go back another 7. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So that's 0. So you're at negative 3 here. So 4 minus 7 is negative 3. And then negative 3 plus 4, now you're moving forwards again. You're going to end up at 1. So negative 3 plus 4 is 1. And then 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1. So your answer is just going to be negative 1. Okay. Now, adding, subtracting negative numbers, uh, you need to practice it. I'm, again, I'm going to put some uh, questions on uh, uh, my website. You should go through it. Uh, check your answers one by one. Do not go through the whole sheet. Do it and then check your answers because if you're doing it wrong, then unfortunately you're going to be training yourself how to do it improperly. So what you need to do is check one and do one question, check the answer. If you get it wrong, uh, retry it. Take a look at the way I did it and then move on to the next one and try to get that. Uh, so do them one at a time, checking your answers until you get really good at it. Then uh, you won't even have to think about it anymore. It will just be there. Now let's take a look at uh, multiplying, multiplying and dividing negative numbers. Now multiplying and dividing negative numbers is the same thing. Uh, all we're concerned about to know if the, if the value is going to be positive or negative. So all you have to keep in mind is two positive numbers multiplied together give you a positive number. Example, 2 times 4 is going to be 8, so that's positive 8. If you got two negative numbers multiplied together, that's going to give you a positive number. Okay, so negative 2 times negative 4 is going to be positive 8 again. If you have a positive number times a negative number, that's going to be a negative number. So 2 times negative 4 is going to give you negative 8. Okay, so the way it works is if you have an even number of negatives multiplied or divided together, they're going to give you positive. If you got a, all the numbers positive, it's still going to be positive. If you've got an odd number of negatives multiplied together, the answer is going to be negative. So before you do any multiplication or division, you should know if the answer is going to be positive or negative. 
for example, let's do, well, we've got a little room down here, let's try that. Let's try negative 2 times 4 uh, times negative 5 divided by negative 2 times negative 3. So right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 negative numbers. 4 negative numbers is an even number, so this, the answer is going to be positive no matter what it, what it turns out. Now let's just try the simple, uh, just figure out what it is. Negative 2 kills negative 2. Anything that kills each other becomes 1. Okay. Uh, and then you just have the numbers up top. When you write negative 3 down here like this, it's really negative 3 over 1. Okay. Now 1 times 1 is just 1. You don't have to put 1 in the bottom. Okay. Uh, 4 times 5 is going to be negative 20 or 20. 20 times 3 is going to be 60, okay, and it was an even number of negatives, so we know it's going to be a positive 60. Simple as that. So, okay, now that we talked about multiplication of negative numbers, we can talk about subtracting negative numbers. Uh, just a segment before this, we did uh, something like 2 minus 5, and we got negative 3, right, doing the number line. Now, what if you had 2 minus negative 5? This, if you're trying to do it, you have to consider what we talked about uh, just like two seconds ago about multiplying negative numbers. If you multiply two negative numbers, you're going to get a positive. And this acts as a multiplication of negative numbers. So negative and a negative makes it positive. So 2 minus negative 5 is really 2 plus 5, which is 7. Um, let's do a couple more so you get this down path, okay? If you have negative 2 minus 5, we talked about this earlier, that gives you negative 7. If you have negative 2 minus negative 5, again, this becomes negative and then negative becomes positive. So negative 2 plus 5 is 3. Let's do one longer one. Let's say you had negative 2 minus negative 4 minus 5 plus 3. 3 minus 6, minus negative 6. What you're going to do is, you're going to deal with the negatives, the double negatives first. So negative and a negative makes it positive. Negative and a negative makes it positive. So right now you got negative 2 plus 4 gives you 2. 2 minus 5 gives you negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 gives you 0. So the final answer is just 6. Easy? Okay.